<laughs> that programming is scrappy. Isn't it? Hey everybody, welcome back for, we don't even have a name for this series, the spooky series, spooktacular, spook time classics. Um, it's a scary movie. So we had a poll to decide which Halloween was gonna come next. As of this moment, it's a tie between Halloween 3 and Halloween 4. Scream will obviously come first. Y'all have already seen Scream by now. Scheduling issues. So the Halloween that I have picked is gonna be Halloween 3 because the tiebreaker is chronological order. The tiebreaker, I can't even talk, is chronological order. We're on to Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. What I know about this movie is that it came out in 1982 and it has nothing to do with Michael Myers. <laughs> I don't know anything else about anyone even associated with this Halloween other than I think that John Carpenter has long since flown the coop with this one so I guess we'll see how it goes y'all have mixed things to say about it so I'm interested to see what it has to offer I apologize in advance for any noise that you may hear I have new neighbors and I swear to god the racket <sighs> I don't know what's going on up there, but it's constant, okay? <laughs> uh, anyway, here we go. <laughs> Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. That makes my teeth hurt. <laughs> oh, but it's still John Carpenter and Deborah Hill's production company? Okay. We will keep cashing the checks, though. Oh, John Carpenter did the music. A pumpkin. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trying to make a sister seize. Oh, October, that's our month. This does not look like a jogging. You are running for your life for sure. Looks like you've been doing it for a while too. What's after you? A vehicle? Oh, <laughs> let me get my drink. <laughs> Y'all already starting. Oh God, what a nightmare. Babe, you need to switch from looking for a hiding place to looking for a weapon because it don't look like this bitch is open. What? That car looks like there's like two accountants in it. Why are you running from these people? <laughs> They're doubling back, babe. Wait, is it just one in the car now? One of them must have got out to get you. <laughs> oh my God, he does look like he does taxes for a living. Oh my God, this Pee Wee Herman, he's killing you. You're gonna yank a car off the block, babe. Oh, good! <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work. <laughs> it's just gonna bump him a little, isn't it? He ain't even worried. What? Why did he sit there and let himself get <laughs> crushed? Why was that little momentum enough to send him reeling? What am I missing? Is he not human? Is it a robot? <laughs> An hour later. British authorities still battle and without any substantial clues nine months after the theft. Believed to represent the 19 year cycle of the moon. It weighs more than five tons, making its disappearance a mystery indeed. Why would somebody be thieving the moonstone? <laughs> Uh-uh. I know you know better. Don't just sit there and wait for something to happen. Uh, some of them be behind you. Okay. Who? Details. He had the silver shamrock mask. Oh, I'm sorry. It's bad time. I'm used to it. Why did you bring that? She's really upset. <laughs> one for you, one for you. Oh, no. Don't you like them? Mom already got this mask. Silver shamrock, look. Oh, no. Those masks are haunted, kids. Oh, wow. Oh. Those are a huge upgrade from what you brought in that paper bag. We got a call in. 
drinking and doctor and great combination. Okay. What is up with all these alcoholic medical professionals? This is the same thing Lori was being put through. Well, what's his condition? I cannot believe you're about to practice in this state. Listen, he just walked up out of the rain. Oh, he wasn't there. God, that's all there was to it. Do not put me on trial for this bullshit. I don't know what he on. I don't know what happened to him. There's not gonna be any trouble, is it? I mean, you never know when somebody might be needing. This is trigger song. That could kill us, all of us. Can you get more detail than that? He <laughs> said, no, 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 that's where I back away. That has nothing to do with me. I'm not involved with that. I can't be here when the all of us are getting killed. Won't be me. <laughs> yep. Turn that shit into a jog. You can use a nap. Doctor's lounge is empty. Wanna take one with me? Drunk and hitting on the nurses. <laughs> These fools remind me of the observers from Fringe. Is your leg bent backwards like a flamingo? What's happening? <laughs> Is he gonna smother you? Ooh, yes. And punch? Why? Are you taking his eyes? You're gouging them out, why? to not get caught. He looked her dead in her face right after the murder and walked on. Girl, say, killed the patient. Get those words out. You got this drunk ass doctor running into the unknown. Oh, wow. No. You can't fight that. You can't reason with it. Can't go over it, can't go under it. Y'all are doomed if there's more of that. Like, that can't be a human being. I won't be able to pick the kids up tonight, something. Girl, this is different than the other times. This is not my alcoholism. A man drenched himself in gasoline. The two men died here tonight. And not patients, no, not the regular way. Accident. Say murder-suicide by way of the druids. It's just still sitting there, no tape up or nothing. <laughs> oh no, does she know the victim? Oh. Is this my father? Your no, father? I wouldn't, not yet. Let's get it over with. No, don't. You won't even be able to recognize him. Yes, that's my father. How could you tell? He had a face redo. Is that it? My father's dead because of some crazy. The whole thing is under investigation. It's very upsetting. I'm dead. I'd be my response. Long way. Poor girl. I know the sheriff thinks he was on drugs. That doesn't make any sense. I've seen lots of people on drugs. A man was in complete control. He looked like a businessman. He had to be one strong businessman, I can tell H &R you. HR block. You don't just pull someone's skull apart without a little lower arm strength. Know what I mean? Yeah, I think he's yeah, a robot. Just do me this mm -hmm. one favor. Check this one out yourself. I've seen a haunting close up and it's fucked. Come on in, flash dance. I saw you at the funeral. Thank you. Oh. I'm sorry about your father. Did my father say anything to you the night he died? Yeah, he said they're gonna kill us all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> Does he that said, mean tell anything? I love her. Come on, fool. I know the truth is harsh, but it could save a life. Thank you. Wait a second. I thought he was crazy. He's hanging onto a Halloween mask. He wouldn't let it go. And what he said was, they're going to kill us all. And in a little while, he was dead. Those were the and words. I don't know and what the hell is going action. on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about you, Ellie? What you got to contribute? I've been doing some detective work. My father kept excellent records. October 20th, pick up more masks. <laughs> it seems well, to be about these masks. That's the kind your father had in his hand. I think my father ran into trouble somewhere between here and Santa Mira. Where they make those. Mm. Maybe they know something. 
So you gonna go yourself? I'm going back to Elmer until I find out what happened to my father. Damn, girl. Fair enough. Don't look at her lusty. I don't know, it's just a bunch of doctors talking about boring stuff. I... Oh, you bailing on your kids? Take it easy. I'll be back to take them trick-or-treating, I promise. I gotta go. Bye. Man, Linda is tired of your ass. And a six-pack of beer, too? Trifling. <laughs> Linda must be the ex-wife. I can't imagine she putting up with this and still got the ring on. Oh my god, this damn commercial. Like, is that part of the spell? <laughs> they really are investigating a murder and not telling anyone. Oh, it's beautiful out Here we go with some weirdness. Get the whole town is bad shit. <laughs> I feel like a goldfish. Yeah, you would not stop here. These fools are bound to kill me ritualistically, and I will not stand for it. You're being tracked through the town. Not ready for this. We need a plan. Exactly. This poses a couple of buyers, maybe rent a couple of rooms in that motel. Y'all are really taking this pretty far. <laughs> I'm not sure why he's doing it. <laughs> I know you're disturbed, but what do you hope to accomplish? It's cozy, it's quiet, and the price is right. I'm sure the price is your soul. What the hell? Oh, are you looking for his name? Huh? Like Packers, aren't you? We've had a lot of practice. Ah, there's Mr. Cocker now. Oh, no. <laughs> He looks like he's about to do a drive-by. A great man, Conrad Cochran. A true genius. Riding around slow in the Beetlejuice mobile? Okay. What's your training, honey? Buddy Cup for San Diego. Okay. This is my wife, Betty. Is it busted? No. Oh, he got an attitude. And he don't listen. Did he just flip you off? I'll be checking you in now, sir. Nine dollars under the bottom. Wish I would have with my mama. Thank you, sir. Damn factory. You got a lot going on. The orders all screwed up. This place is a zoo. It is. Your old man stay here on the twentieth. I was right. We'll go directly to the factory. Whoa, hold on, slow down. I could use a drink. Let's take our time. It's okay with you? To stay, I mean. Maybe I ought to get another room. That would look sort of suspicious, wouldn't it? If you'd. uh feel more comfortable or why can't you just sleep, sleep on the, the floor where do you want to sleep dr chalice girl where do you want him to sleep that's a dumb question miss grimpage oh this is what y'all taking the opportunity to do i thought this was a murder investigation <laughs> oh <laughs> well grief makes us do crazy things <laughs> i don't know what you have no excuse sir philanderer <laughs> that's your excuse <laughs> Sun downtown nonsense. This is as eerie as possible. What is the deal with the cameras? <laughs> this feed is indiscernible. I can't. What? Why aren't your activities confined to your own home? Oh, because you had to go out and get liquor, dum dum. Whoa, jeez, I just didn't mean to scare you. I just saw that bottle. That looked pretty heavy. I ain't got no diseases. You mind if I have a drink? Oh, Lord. I think y'all got the same ah, disease, actually. You happen to know anything about this Cochran? You seen the TV cameras yet? He's he watching you, Fred. I guarantee you that. So he's like some creepy oh, overlord? The wizard. <laughs> Who's that? Is that an H&R Block employee? It is. What's he gonna do to you? He's gonna rearrange your face, too? Why do they do this? be possible you tore the skin <laughs> how are they doing that girl oh, sorry <laughs> man uh you picking up an order now i hate to say anything but the merchandise is slipping my four-year-old was throwing the thing against the wall granted the trademark shouldn't just come right off yeah that's what you mean why is the trademark a giant coin why would you attach that to something for a child 
That is a talisman of the devil. What's on the back? Look like braille. Got anything? Uh, someone made a colossal boo-boo. We've been doing an autopsy on part of the car. This plastic and metal shavings. Two days wasted because somebody mixed up the envelopes. No, nope, that's a robot. I knew it. The strength is inhuman. You got a geeky Terminator on your hands. Why are we getting this softcore porn right now? Wait, wait, wait. How old are you? I'm older than I look. Was there danger of you being a minor up until this point? Because, ooh. I mean, she looks like a grown woman. I don't see why she would be there otherwise, but. What is that? Is some kind of microchip? Oh, yeah. It's like a little motherboard. Girl, what you trying to do with it? <gasps> What's that? Holy fuck! Who cares? Of course y'all wouldn't care. Oh, what happened to your face? Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't even look. I can't look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't even look at it fully. I refuse to look. I can only see the... Oh, my God. There's birds now? Why are her feet moving? She's supposed to be alive? What is that box? I... Gracious. That sex was way too timid to ignore what just happened to that woman. I don't see how y'all, what? They're in these lab coats? Like, I thought it was the authorities. It's the creepy factory robot workers. Excuse me, I'm a doctor, please. I said I'm a doctor. So? Well, cover yourself, sir. You'll get the best care money can buy. Care? She is dead, for sure. She must be. Her face was lasered off. By Mr. Cochran, of course. The toy manufacturer? It's all over, my friends. Just a small accident. They're taking her to the factory. She'll be the most marvelous facility there for emergency treatment. Oh, hell oh, no. Miss Fire. We can't afford to stick out. Just go. Bitch, stick out. You're in crazy land. <laughs> You're gonna stick out no matter what. Because they're all crazy and they all know each other. You wanna leave? Yes, very much. But yeah. not until I find out when my father went to that factory. Girl, the world may never know. I don't see how getting yourself killed is gonna solve a damn thing. Only one more day till Halloween. Can you talk? Sure, I just finished sifting the ashes. Mm. What do you have? A robot bitch. You know, I'm starting to wonder if some, someone hasn't been tampering with this stuff. Why? There's no well, organic matter. Not fire, but there would have to be some bone fragments or teeth or something. Just ashes and car parts. How about you? Listen, Teddy, do me another favor. Will you find out everything you can about Connell Cochran? All right, but this is going to cost you some serious dinners when you get back. I'm always ready for dinner with you. Liar. Bye. <laughs> he is a liar, bitch. He's running women like you can't believe. Becoming detectives with him, bugging them, maybe dying with them. Oh, Red, these people lost an order. Did you load this one? Sure did. Last week, a man in an old green station wagon. Thank you. Would you care to make another order, madam? No. Let's go. What a mess. See, y'all got nothing. Well, hey, how are you doing? What are y'all doing here at the factory? Here to see Mr. Cochran. Yes, Mr. Cochran, welcome. So this is Betty Cupfer and his lovely family. Mr. Cupfer sold more silver shamrock masks this year by far than anyone else in the country. This is very Willy Wonka. I feel like everybody's gonna die at this factory. Look, my apologies for that little bit of a disturbance last night, but I want you both to know that Mrs. Gutman is going to be fine. <laughs> you mean the bitch She's with her face fried off? Thank you. And, uh, okay, liar. A replacement order is being prepared for you absolutely free. No, no, no. We don't want your devil masks. My friends come along? Oh. We don't want to come? Yes, I was just about to ask them. If you'd like to? We'd love to. Come on. Detective Nosy Ass is just determined to get to the bottom of something. I know it's your dad, but he wouldn't want you to die for him, okay? Wow, that's actually really cool, though. Wow. <laughs> okay. Didn't your daddy sell them for a living? Get one at the store, little munchkin. Oh, no, 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 no. Those bats haven't been through final processing. What do you mean? They don't have the killer coin attached? <laughs> <There you gasps> so 
Oh, it's supposed to go at the base of the skull. What the final process? Getting the murder weapon installed, honey. That mask will kill your son. Just mm -hmm. laser beam right into the brainstem. The final process. Uh, I'm sure it's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Where's that the button? Oh, there it is. Run to the eyes. Oh my god, yeah. You're in the matrix. <laughs> you would not accept that. Darling? Yes, fake wife. We need to go. <laughs> See you later. Nope, never. You look an awful lot like the man who killed your father. Oh my god. What? what? That's his car. What about this car? Wait, no, no, no. Girl, what are you. What? What? Okay, so you recognize the car. What does running in there do? Why would you run into look at the car? I thought you just were coming here so you could figure out how the murder happened and then you were gonna tell the authorities. And they're running back down like he can protect I saw you. It. I'm scared. I think we should leave. You just drink it the pain away. You pack. I'm gonna call the police. We'll come soon, okay? Alright, What is there to pack? You have one little lunch box. I'm sorry, we cannot complete your call as dialed. Please hang up, Mitchell. So you cannot call anybody. I know it's past curfew because it's dark outside. Ellie. Now it's a fire. Oh, please take that off the wall. <gasps> oh, that's the music. Oh my God. And you're tipsy at least. We saw you down in that whiskey. You look just like her dad. Ducking like a fool finna get murdered. Chased by TurboTax employees. Oh, and they have her. None of the phones in this stupid town even work. <laughs> Melting out of frame. This music is piercing. I'm <laughs> it's extremely anxiety inducing. What is that? What is that? Is this a real woman? Where's the girl? I think that's one of the thingies he makes. Yeah, the head came off and it's not bloody gears. Robot. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ooh, the fingers look flesh. Please, please. I'll pay my taxes. Okay. That's another robot, honey. Can you tell? Ew! Yolk in the mouth! Oh, the whole thing is goo! At least you know you can take it down. Is the shock just too much for you? This was a rare piece. Unique. Not my fault. 1785. The head popped off. Ah, Mr. Chellis. Where is that? You just noticed I was standing here? Mrs. Smith. I believe she's resting just now. Resting forevermore? Dr. Chellis, I should say. How do you know all this? Morning soon. Halloween morning. Uh uh. Be a very busy day for me. Being a medical man, you should find it quite interesting. To see a mass murder firsthand? No more days till Halloween. The day of death is upon us. <laughs> Funeral directors, ready your coffins. You about to have clientele out the ass coming in hot. Convincing, aren't they? Killer headquarters. They stole the stone. But how are you harnessing the power of an ancient stone? What's the conversion technique? Ancient sacrificial stone. We had a time getting it here. How about it? <laughs> are you also carving it up? Believe how we did it. It has a power in it. A power? Force. Y'all just taking him all around the headquarters. What you really need to see is a demonstration of this one coming right up. You're about to kill one of them? What's the point of killing your biggest seller of murder weapons? Are you trying to cover up the crime? What the hell? You have no fight in you being put in this situation? 
And see, you're locked in. in the capital here and everything will be fine. You know, I still can't figure out why they won't take my orders for next year. Uh, Maybe he's not going to have Halloween next year. <laughs> All right, Girl, your child is being sacrificed. That's the real terrible part. Oh, no. Watch. It's subliminal murder technology. What is it doing to him? Ew, the thing is rotting. What's happening? And she's just laughing? <gasps> what? Locusts? What is that? Crickets? Yeah, if I was the mother, that would be my response. Snakes? Oh my god. They're crawling out of the corpse of the child. Ugh. At this point, I'd put it up to my throat and just let it bite the life out of me. Like, venom now! My whole family is dead. I don't want to live. Okay, and what do you gain by all of this, Mr. Cochran? What's the point? What's the prize? <laughs> I'm lost. It seems like a lot of trouble just to murder your customer base. And Dr. Chalice, your children have these. <laughs> All over the nation. Gonna give away your life. It's a beautiful shot. Absolutely devastating. I don't think it's a card part at all. Oh, no. You've seen something like it. Tomorrow afternoon. Oh, okay, great. No, it turns out I need to let you know now because I'm about to be murdered. You're going to drill her to death? Are you getting it? <laughs> Can you get me the sheriff? <gasps> Girl, just shy. Oh, no. This is really terrible. She doesn't deserve this. Oh, God. It's in here. <sighs> Why did her death have to be so cruel and graphic? Left in that elevator music. Enjoy the horror fun, Doctor. Why, Cochran? Yes, Why? thank you. Do I need a reason? It would help. Mr. Cochran was right, you know. I do love a good joke, and this is the best ever. The joke of the children. You don't really know much about Halloween. What you know? The festival of Sauron. The last great one took place 3,000 years ago when the hills ran red with the blood of animals and children. Sacrifice is a part of our world, our craft, witchcraft. We don't decide these things, you know. The planets do. So it's a sacrifice Learn from witches? Lemon, and it's time again. I'm glad you'll be able to watch it. Happy Halloween. Fuck you, witch! This is not my brand of witchcraft. You have an hour and 11 minutes until your death? The cruelty. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> Scoop that bitch on over. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> this is a very well executed series of escape plans. I know you didn't put that piece of glass down because you ought to have one in each hand. I don't know how many bots are between you and freedom. How are you going to stop this from happening? The masks are out. Don't forget to tell them to watch the big giveaway at night. The broadcast is happening. How do you stop it? Oh, here is the grate to the ventilation shaft. How the hell are you going to find Ellie? The only phones in town that work. Oh, really? You gonna call your ex-wife who you always trifling the fuck out of? No way is she gonna help you. Linda gonna have a laundry list of fuck yous before she listens to a word you got to say. You should have called the authorities. And she thinks she's just on an alcoholic rampage. Honestly, you fucking deserve that. Why would you call her ass? After all the times you did her dirty, call the police, fool. What's Linda gonna do regardless? She's supposed to hop in the station wagon and come on down. I guess she could at least snatch the masks off your children's faces. Oh, there's Ellie. I don't know how you found her. What up? And they're just letting you. Oh, here they come. Oh, no one notices this traveling cart. I guess it is just one man in a room full of people that are programmed to do what they're supposed to be doing.
Y'all gonna try to do a misfire? <laughs> do something. Y'all need to get your Sarah Connor and Reese on. Figure out how to take these robots down. How did he know how to do that? Cause he watched it once? <laughs> Cochran is like, this bitch is trying me. I didn't tell him my evil plan so he could thwart it. You get a mask, you get a mask, you get a mask. <laughs> I can't say I understand why that worked. Activated the chips by playing the song and the video. I thought that there was some correlation between brainwave and the way that the chips work. Apparently not. <laughs> he killed all these robots by showering them in microchips <laughs> and created the ring of sacrifice. <laughs> accepted it and were vaporized? Is that enough to stop it? Is it not gonna air now? 74 degrees at 8.48 p.m. That's still 12 minutes till we even know if it worked. The commercial's still on. do something, call somebody. How are you gonna explain the shenanigan? Ellie, you all right? Is that not even Ellie? Oh, damn! <laughs> They roboted her ass? How is she a duplicate? Ugh. Did her ass get out? What's that on the door? I can't tell. Looks like an arm. Pick up a stick, Dr. Drunky. It is an arm. There you go, tire iron. You have to. That's a robot anyway. That's a good sign. Yoke mouth. in the middle of nowhere. No car, no Ellie. No way to stop your kids from being vaporized. Ooh, the eyes are still moving. It's like the skull in Alien when they killed Bilbo and he was just a milky ball of flesh looking side to side. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the arm still got jump in it? Damn. That programming is scrappy. Oh. Look at it, still grasping for a throat. Oh, God. Are you done? <laughs> is you finished or is you done? <laughs> Cause that's enough of that, all right? <sighs> this poor gas station attendant that wanted nothing to do with these shenanigans from jump. Get <laughs> It is less than one minute. How are you supposed to convince somebody of that? No, no, I can't. Okay, at least turn it off with these children in the room. We're having technical problems. Good. Please stand by. Good. Wow. Please stand by. It was about to play on every channel, too? Third channel, still running. Stop it, please, for God's sake. Okay, are you gonna save this child that's in front of you or not? Nah? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! So he just stood there screaming into the phone and let those three children die? Y'all. <laughs> um, okay. That film was something else. <laughs> I don't even know if I can talk about that yet. It might take me sleeping on that to even process whether or not the lore made any sense. It was very a lot. <laughs> There's a lot going on. But it was a fun ride, I will give it that. And I would watch it again, if for no other reason than to get a better understanding of what was going on there. So like, obviously they brought the Samhain tradition back into play. It's like, we're getting a little bit more about this pagan holiday, but it's very, I don't wanna say slapped together, but what the fuck? What is with a lot of it? But <laughs> regardless, it was an interesting piece of the horror anthology. And I'm not surprised, I guess, that after this one came out, they decided to go back to Michael Myers because I can see how that's a much more accessible story for the masses. That had some cool effects. It had great score, some very interesting character choices. <laughs> I had a good time with it. I almost want to watch Halloween 4 right away and get back into the Michael Myers of it all and see what they came with after they made this little piece of storytelling. Hmm. Thank you so much for this 
suggestion and coming up we got more scream more halloween more nightmare on elm street more everything horror movies there will be more of them and yeah obviously we're not going to be able to fit them all in by the end of october so i'll come with a plan for that too <laughs> I don't know exactly what it's gonna be yet, but it will be something. Probably what we'll do is shift into some other genres of storytelling, but also hit the horror movies every once in a while. But we'll decide that together, y'all. In the meantime, talk to me in the comments, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>